Are you sick of moldy vegetable ferments? Are you even too scared to try fermenting at home? I will give you the simplest tool that you can use to prevent mold on your ferments and make fermenting at home easy. Hey, I'm Nadia at Embracing Harvest. I have been fermenting for years and at first, when I was just getting started, I would have, you know, off and on success. Sometimes it would be fine, and other times I would take days or weeks to put together my ferment, maybe use my own vegetables from my own garden, and then all of a sudden, two weeks later, I'd open up the jar and see mold on top, and that was so discouraging. So I was on a mission to determine what I could do to be able to still ferment at home, but avoid this mold, because it was really not something that I was okay with. I didn't want to just scrape it off. So I came across these two pieces. One is called an airlock and the other is called a stone or a weight. I was skeptical at first. I thought, how could these two devices be that earth shattering? Because I heard a lot of people saying they were great, but I was like, eh, really? So I took them home, I got them and, or I ordered them, I guess, online. And I tried it out and it was like night and day difference. So I was getting maybe, I don't know, every three or four batches before that were had some sort of questionable <laughs> substance on it. And after that, I don't even remember, to be honest, the last time I've had mold on a ferment. So how do they work? You can either buy the airlock, the stone, or both. I personally choose to use both, but you don't have to. The stone is great because it will weigh all of the vegetables down underneath the brine. And one of the issues that I have certainly come across is when things float up to the top, that is when I find things can go wrong. So if you can keep all the vegetables below the brine, which the stone does, then you can oftentimes prevent mold just alone with that. The airlock itself allows the pressure to come out of the jar while not allowing out any oxygen in. If you made fermented food before with a regular lid, you may have heard the advice or you've done it yourself where they say you have to burp it. So you actually have to open up the lid every, it could be every few hours if it's really hot, but you know, once or twice a day and allow any pressure to, ex to come out or else the, the jar could explode. And that's happened to me, not with, <laughs> not with this, but with a kombucha before. So I know it's possible if you don't burp it enough. What the airlock does is it prevents you from having to do that. But if you use a coffee filter, you wouldn't have to do that anyways. My airlock and stone, I actually couldn't find this brand. I looked online to see if I could link it to them, but they must, this brand must not be in business anymore. I just couldn't find them. So I've actually gone onto Amazon, just picked a couple really comparable ones, good price, good reviews that I've linked down in the description below if you wanna check them out. But honestly, if you have a good health food store nearby, even a winemaking store might have some airlocks for you as well. Um, as far as the stone, there are some other ways that you can keep the vegetables under the brine. Um, I've heard of some, some interesting concepts of mine. I don't know if I'd choose to use any of them, but. Um, really, honestly, anything that you can keep that keeps the ferment under the, keeps the vegetables under the brine does the job. But I prefer using something that I know is food grade and is simple and it'll fit the jar fine. So choose what works for you. But there are lots of options out there is, is all I'm trying to get at. So there you go. That's how you can prevent mold on your ferments at home, making it easy and safe and effortless to make your own vegetable ferments. Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried using an airlock or using weights? I'd love to hear your feedback. And if there are any brands that you love, I'm sure the other viewers might appreciate getting that information from you as well. And if you're looking for a new recipe, I have just created a video on fermented carrots, which is absolutely delicious. So you can check that out. I will provide a link somewhere. And if this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like, because that way that I know that this is something that's helpful for you. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I am all about growing my own food and eating with the seasons. So come along if you think that is of interest to you. And thank you, I'll see you again soon.